want to try to make rhymes on these things. Wish I knew how to do just the subtle uh, tour guide thing where I was like, and over here we have this park where people behind me are smoking meth and random strangers are walking past wondering what I am doing. And or not, there's uh, always that assumption though. And that's what I want to work on actually. It's getting past what I think other people are thinking, which has nothing to do with what they're actually thinking, nor anything to do with me. It's just their interpretation of this human being. Having a conversation with a camera, well, get used to it, I guess, people of the earth, because it's going to be happening a lot more often. My goal and intention is to come to places like this, co-creation, and just honor the artists who put their time and dedication in face of their city to be a little bit more beautiful and as unusual as it seems this to me is the waking dream mosaics of concepts here in the cosmic sunsets burning an infinite yearning of self-learning and discovery when will it be the universal humanity finally finds peace we can sing and play music with each other in the streets, yeah. Coming to be all that we already are. Shining sisters, multitude, constellations, near and far away. Concentration brings it here today, so. The kind of appreciation that I'm looking for is one that opens corridors, pours of more within me. Shows the cosmic copy of the conscious beings. And seen and unseen is what we weave in and out of the fabric of this dream. It's both the clarity and the confusion, the constant state of no identification and pure illusion. The fact that we're using art to express the global heart gives me a lot of hope that we might find our way out of this darkness. Maybe persuade me to not be so goddamn lazy doing more work. To me, the mark is met when we meet in the middle, finding the most respect for the individuals that come to connect our hearts, that come to add beauty and art to their landscape. That to me is the ultimate breath blessing, the ultimate message coming through. My suggestion is that we all take reference and begin to know how it applies to us as a people, as a presence. What intention will you place into the world? And how much patience will you have as that intention unfurls? The solution is in the mind. The solution isn't just mine. It's yours. Ours. It's the collective freedom of the we and the sun, relishing the nutrients of one. One mind, one body, one life. There is no lesser than, there is no greater than. There is this infinite presence. And what creates the lesser than? the greater than the mind state that separates as opposed to be friends. It's pretty simple actually to diagnose. It comes from a core belief system that says that power, that which we all need to thrive and strive in this world, is only found outside of ourselves. In some other avenue, some other marketplace. But the paradigm of the new earth, the paradigm of the world that works for all of us, to connect you, interchanging, the paradigm that suggests the power, the 
the infinite possibility within each of us. And that power comes through the canvas of our own unique expression. In other words, we find our power, we discover it, we invent it. And it's yours, it's mine for the taking, but the days of the takers have passed. We can receive this infinite love with open arms and give back. Returning to the great circuit of the learning, burning our way into the great history, the great Akasha, something worth remembering. What was the language of the earth spoken? You and I address it uniquely, each of us shares in the devotion as we come into the great courage to share it. It's in that co-creation that we realize what is possible for all of us, you know what I'm saying? So, this right here to me is what's possible in the world. The best of what is, it's the highlight. It's the universal standard which we can all strive towards. And when we co-create as a community, we thrive as a community. So, let us find a space for each of us at the table. Let us set a plate enough food that all of us can receive in that nutrient rich meal of feeling healing feeling back layers love and respect all across the universe this is Shanti Lali I am casting broadcast across the land signing off for now the infinite plan power <laughs> Melbourne City, Australia, be with me.